All right, so unfortunately, I'm pretty sure I the footage didn't properly record the last time I did this, so I'll run through the basics. Main thing to note, well, in case I don't go back and do anything. Main thing to note is that I have gotten every single seal that I need. Well, every badge that I need, I'm pretty sure. I thought there was one more. Let me make sure. Where's... I could have sworn there was another badge around here. Ah, here we are. Alright, every single badge has been acquired. Which means I am now able to move on to the final part of the game. However, we have other things to attend to first. Specifically... The Heart of Winter expansion. So, the goal for now is to go through every... Th so my goal for now is twofold. Firstly, I found a bunch of stuff while I was wandering around that I think will go... Uh, will be useful with the Severed Hand. So... I'm thinking that what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go through... Spend the next few minutes sorting through my inventory, working all of that nonsense out... And once that that's been accomplished, I will head over to the Severed Hand real quick, make sure that everything's been sorted out there. Well, see if there is anything that needs to be sorted out and take care of it if there is. Then, we care. Then we will run back to Kaldahar and get on with the Heart of Winter material. That's the plan, and hopefully it'll go quickly. Actually, if let's go to the Severed Hand first. Pretty sure I can identify some of this. Patriot Helm. This helm was worn by the dwarven warrior Daniel Silverfrost, king and martyr of the lost dwarven city-state of Silverrock. Daniel's deeds are not as well known as those of many other heroic dwarves, but that is perhaps because his kingdom died with him. His nation suffered heavy losses when trolls and giants attacked it over a thousand years ago in the nearly forgotten War of Curdling Blood. The war between the tribes of monsters and the kingdom of Silverrock was raged over fifteen years. Daniel never attempted to flee his kingdom, seek the aid of neighboring countries, or abandon his people. Despite the fact that many of his subjects did indeed flee, Daniel remained in Silverrock until the very end. Before the final battle of the terrible war, Daniel told his, told his people, When you see this plume on me head fall, I want you to make sure that our people don't bow like gold, but that they break like iron. Almost as soon as the battle was joined, Daniel charged to the front of the fray and leapt into the talons of a dozen trolls. The moment his plume disappeared from sight, every man, woman, and child remaining in Silverrock poured out of the fortified caverns and dragged down as many trolls and giants as they could. Barrels of flaming oil were dumped all over Daniel's palace and the common areas of the city, consuming as many dwarves and trolls and terrible frost giants. In the end, the monsters had achieved a Pyrrhic victory. The dwarven city was a smoldering ruin from which little treasure, no slaves, and no food could be taken. Many trolls died of starvation that winter. And when they turned on their giant allies for sustenance, the entire army fell into disarray forever. That's a powerful helm. Is there anything special in this? No. Actually, let's see if you can use this. I doubt it, but nope, didn't think so. Excellent. So now... Hmm. Given the look of it, it might have some use elsewhere. So, meanwhile, let's see if we can identify any more. The Slayer. Ooh, a fallen paladin called Matahane Blackwatch used this weapon to kill 101 knights of his former king. M Methings, what is that? Methings family, Chamberlain, had a long tradition of sh producing paladins of Tyr. Methings father, Garland, slew a powerful high priest of Bane who had been posing a threat to the kingdom. The priest's evil magic brought him back from the dead. This priest, called the Chamberlain Haunt, cursed the Chamberlain family to one only produce stillborn children until he had been appeased. Methane, as the heir to the family, took it upon himself to remove the curse. The Chamberlain Haunt told Methane that he must kill 101 knights of the king. Methane began his grim task, slaughtering every knight he came across. He brought the skull and shield of each warrior to the Chamberlain Haunt as proof of his deed. The king dispatched bands of knights and heroes to kill Methane, but he proved too difficult a foe. Finally, after three years of murdering, Methane had killed 100 knights. He told the Chamberlain Haunt that it was time to end the curse. The Chamberlain Haunt corrected him, reminding the fallen paladin that he had to kill 101 knights of the king. Overcome with misery and regret, 
Methane nodded and immediately threw himself on his own spear. With Methane and Garland dead, and the letter of his requirements fulfilled, the curse was ended, and the, and the Chamberlain haunt was called to Acheron by Bane, screaming all the way. Oh, that's fun. What else can be identified? Okay, you're out of identification. The Argent Shield. Okay. 25 magic resist, not bad. How's that compare? Strictly better, cool. All right, now, let's get inside. I can't remember exactly where everything is, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Worst case scenario, I look things up. I probably won't complete anything anyway, but, well, everything anyway. Let's just find, make our way through. Ah, here we are. Let's see. I found some seeds that you might be able to use. With these, I can... Okay. And if you come across any other items that could help restore the Arboretum... This water might be pure enough. Let's see how things change. Cool. Let's see. Perhaps you can give these birds a new home. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. Alrighty. Ooh, level up. Hang on, real quick. That it's time to move on. Ah. Cool. Okay. And we got a level up out of that. Cool. Alright, that's what I came here for. Now, I'm trying to remember where Laurel, Laurel is. Because that'd be the fastest way back. Pretty sure anyway. Um, I'll make my way back. Alrighty, now, if I'm not mistaken, the person I need to talk to to continue the quest, well, to start the Heart of Winter stuff, is in here. We'll see about that. Hmm, that must have been related to an earlier quest. Huh. What did I gain? And lose. Ooh, that's a sling. Useful. What kind of sling do you have? Spog standard. Cool. Yeah, I know. I need to rest. I had forgotten about that quest. Ah, oh, well. In is this way. Actually, you know what? Let's take care of Luke first. So let's go over here. Actually, no, I'm gonna need to rest to identify everything, so yes. I cast a haste spell on them to get speed things up and it wore off. So, rest first, then go through items. This might take a while. Shut up. Alright, gauntlets. Oh, these are cursed. Okay, that's fun. So, don't wear them. Then there was, I believe, one other thing. Ah, dagger. Breath of Oral. Okay. Intelligence plus one, charisma minus five. A hundred percent cold resist, minus fifty fire. You know, that also gives wait, it's a cursed item. You know what? It's not the worst thing I've had to deal with, so you know, I'll just deal with it. Let's see, was there anything else that needed identification? Nope. Alright, at this point I just need to restock on ammunition for everything. And then... Oh, why? Who's slowed and why? You. Oh, dagger. Alright, that's what we get to do now. Is dump all our stuff off and then find a place to throw... What's it called? And then I need to find a place to throw everything else. Real quick. Hmm. Alright. 
tons to worry about. Who's being dumb? You're being dumb. Okay. Certainly. Thought that would mean more. Well, let's see. Of these weapons, which ones do I want to keep? It's great against salamanders. How's it compare to your other weaponry? Actually, probably better. Because this is a longsword, right? Large sword, yeah. Hmm. 98 plus 6. 98 plus 3. Of course, that gets an extra attack per round, so... Yeah, that probably is more worthwhile. So, we'll throw everything that we want to sell onto you. Small shield plus 1, yeah. Okay, generic stuff is definitely getting sold. I feel like that broken armor still has some use, but I don't know where it's going to have use. Static star. Ah, uh, nah. Hmm. No, we don't really have anyone that's using daggers. That's generic, and that's an important item for you. So, we'll have Joe take anything that we're not using. Well, okay, let's just have you continuously walk up and sell your cr oh, the crap. Psst. You are an imbecile. Well, actually, I'd like to sell everything, but you know what? Okay, now, let's go through this. I don't have anyone that uses... Let's see, that's just an AC4. Is that better than what you have? AC plus 2. Well, you can't use it anyway. Because you're chaotic, I guess. So I guess... Unless... No, you can't use it while you're using the Staff of Nature's Wrath, so that doesn't matter. Staff of the Hand. How's that compare? 1d6 plus 3. 1d6 plus 1, but it allows you to cast Entangle or Flame Strike. We'll keep that around. Black Dragon Scale. Acid Resist and Safe Burst Spells. How's that compared to this? A tons of other resistances. Okay, unless someone else can use this and gain benefit from it, that's getting tossed. Umber Hulk Hide, yeah, that can be sold. Along with all the Yeti Pelts. Where was I? Oh yeah, we were still deliberating. So, can you make use of this? Okay, you lose some AC, but what... I'm trying to remember what this gets you. Ah! Immune to a bunch of crap. Okay, that's why we had you take it. Okay, so... I doubt you can use... You'd get use out of it. Yep, that is strictly not as good as your other stuff. Why is your armor crap? You're still using standard plate? I should amend that. Let's see. Shouldn't need the cold resist as much anymore, I don't think. What are you doing? Ah. Hmm. Are you going to be using the robe of the evil archmage? Let's see. Stand bonus. Well, I have two robes of the evil archmage eyes, so that doesn't matter. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot the bitch queen. That was so weird. Let's see, plus 20. 90% of all hits. Hmm. Huh. Well, this is a standard longsword, so we can get tossed. Let's get the Yeti pelts. And we're unlikely to use these darts. Not when we've got the sling. Meanwhile, yeah, we'll toss this. Give him that. Cancerous Bastard Sword. Let's see. Oh yeah, that was 2d4 plus 4. But again, extra attack per round. Too useful. Necromancer's Robe versus... Hmm. I think I prefer the extra 
spell slot for more magic missile. Now, spine sheath. Okay. Yep, that's getting tossed as well. And full inventory. Cool. Can't sell the umber hug hulk hide? Yeah, I guess I'll see if anyone else wants it. Berserker darts. Ah. That's why they were being kept around. Eh, they'll fetch a nice price. Actually, what's that dagger? Okay, yeah, we're not gonna take that one. It looks like at this point... Let's see. Yeah, we'll keep this around. Reinforced heavy crossbow, damage plus 7 missile. Oh yeah, this was more accurate, this was more powerful. Speed factor 7. 9. But this allows two attacks per round, though. We'll keep that around, but I don't think I'll use it much. Hmm. Bunch of resistances, but AC of 1. I think we'll toss. And none of us use spears, so that can get tossed. What else is there to worry about? Let's see, I have a feeling I need to just stick with arrows plus one from now on. Because I'm not going to get much use out of standard arrows anymore. Okay, so that's all the stuff that we want to sell. And you can take back this stuff since that I know the bow's staying around. Cool. Now, we need to go through and figure out if there's anything that we want from this guy. Eh. Daisy. Damage plus three, deck plus four. Hmm. Down. Ah, yes, but we'll, we will need bolts. Lots of them. Okay, I think we ran out of inventory space for bolts. Let's see how much more space we have for everything. Wait, what's that? Oh, that thing. Don't know if we were ever allowed to sell that. Either way, let's see. Alright, we now have enough bullets to sink a battleship. What was that again? Potion bag. Why are you carrying a potion bag? Oh, because you ran out of space. What's in here, anyway? That's it. Got nothing. What's this got? Bunch of random stuff. This has got another bunch of random stuff. Is that unidentified? There we go. Now, where's the unidentified potion? What is that? Red potion. Whoa, that is a high intelligence. We'll have to keep an eye out for a use of that. Okay, so, that should take care of that. Now, still a few magical things and other trinkets that we need to worry about, so... Let's see. Let's bring all of the notes and assorted other things down. Okay, they are now. So, let's, what should I hit? Let's hit the potion guy next, because I have a feeling I should grab a few healing potions. Just in case. 
It'll allow me to be sloppy, at least. Or hopefully sloppier. And you don't have a lot of... You don't have any greater potions of healing, do you? Well, in that case, we'll just... Grab a ton. Distribute them relatively evenly. Let's group all of the other potions. Okay, just that stack of four then. Oh, never mind. We've got enough for a, for a stack of five. Okay, now let's grab three more stacks. Whoops. Yeah, here's an easy way of fixing that. Done. You take this. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Now that that's been taken care of, actually, let's see. Will you take the um? No, you will not take the Umber Hulk hide. The Umber Hulk hide. Oh yeah, were we selling the Black Swan armor? I think we were. I remind myself what it has. Oh yeah, a bunch of elemental resistance. I think we were. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been in there. All right, now. We need to go over to the Trinkets Man. Actually, just for my own sake, I need to remember, where exactly is the Heart of Winter quest guy? He's in here, right? Let's make sure of that before we do much more. Because I have a feeling I'll need to double back here anyway, if that's the case. Well, that's fun. Okay, so. That's where I need to go, and it looks like they will let me go now. Which is good. I don't think you'll need any more bolts. Shame that he didn't have any enchanted arrows, but hey, what can you do? What can you do? So hopefully, someone will be able to hang on to all of the assorted. Hopefully this guy will be able to hang on to all of this other assorted junk, otherwise I'll just need to find a place to dump it. Okay. Okay, watchtower key. Good. Umber Hulk hides. Sharing our contract's not getting anywhere. Okay, as expected, we can't find a good place for those. Man, there isn't much here that we can get rid of. In that case, where's a good place to dump everything before we head off to elsewhere? Well, let's try the wizard. And then afterwards, well, I don't know. I don't know. Anything good? Hmm. Snowball swarm. Hmm. 
Let's see. Whoa. Huh. That might actually come in handy in case I need to carry a lot of stuff. Let's grab it. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there are a lot of... Well, actually, the mirror image is useful. As is the charm person. Dire charm could be helpful. Alright, that should do. Alright, real quick, let's... Remind myself of... Okay, that's priests. Okay, so you do know some L level 4. So who should get what? Hmm. You're already making good use of your level 3. What is... Eh, you're making sort of good use of your level 3. Let's give you Dire Charm. Or not? Oh, wrong place. Let's see. Oh yeah, you were going to learn Dire Charm. Let's see if it'll let me do it this time. Okay, fine, I'll take the hint. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, you should be able to make good use of that. Mirror image. Let's see, that's level two. What have you got for level two? Hmm. Well, both of them are making heavy use of. Yeah, Tirana knows less here, but. Yeah. Just for on a whim, we'll give you charm person and we'll give you mirror image. All right, cool. Now I need to find a place to dump everything. It's just gonna be tr annoying. Where could I throw everything? Sounds good to me. I'm gonna go figure that out. What is this? Huh. I wonder if that has anything to do with anything. Because I was- I looked online and it looks like pretty much any chest or place is useful for, well, anything. The ring has an inscription on the inside that looks like the real claim to this inn. Why would you be the owner when this claim says different? Hmm. Oh, so now you've stooped to forcing your way into locked containers in people's house, have you? Oh, because you accuse me of doing anything wrong, maybe you should look to yourself. You're a paladin, right? What's a holier-than-thou soldier doing forcing locks, eh? Oh dear. Aiden's dead? There he is lying on the floor of the inn, cold as a stone. Now I've been through pe the past before, even talked with the old fool a bit, and I know he didn't have any family. There have been rumors of people missing, so I buried the body outside of town, and then... Well, I dug up some pen and ink and set up the claim. 
Granted, I stripped him of his belongings, and I should have thrown away that damn ring. But look, I'm not doing any harm. He didn't have any family, and this town needs an inn. So why did you do it? You probably won't be able to sell this place, you know. The storm season closes off the caravan routes, routes too often to turn any profit. I know, it's just that... I don't know, I'm sick of traveling, and I suddenly got the urge to settle. Mm, let's see. Blame the halfling in me, I suppose. At least I didn't try to plant myself in some glorified mole hole and smoke a stinkweed pipe until I die of boredom. Okay, let's, we're going to be all hiding and mighty. Yeah, well, before you start getting any more preachy on me, it seems that you need to stop your habit of breaking and entering. That stinks as, at a thief, and by my reckoning, that puts us at the same level. Fair enough. Yeah, nevertheless, I want you to speak to the town elders and let them know what you've done. If you don't, I will speak to them, and it will be worse for you in the long run. I mean, what's to keep me from getting out of town? Well, you won't get far. An avalanche has sealed off the pass, and plus, there are raiders scouring the mountains. Just confess to the elders. All right, all right, damn it. I'll go talk to them. Hmm. Now, stop bothering me. I'm curious. Well, I wonder what they might have to say now. But either way, I need to go use that to, what's it called? Let's see. I'll have you take all the quest items. Actually, who's taking him? Who are you at the moment? Okay, cool. Let's see. All of this crap. Yeah, well, it's a start. Right on. You just certainly... Start. Okay, so bef actually, before I do this, I'm going to make a save. Just in case something happens. Now, who else has stuff? All right, cool. Now, in case I need to get it out, those, I'm hoping that that stays put. Well, let's just save over my storage spot again. What can I do? Huh. Okay. Well, now if I go sure. back up. All there. Good. Alright, just for grins, we'll get a room, and then... Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, the real fun begins. Although, before I do that, since I've got that as a useful save point, I'm going to fix up a save real quick and make sure that in case I... Because I haven't played back through, in case I do any play back through. It seems like I have... Okay, it looks like I already had the backup. Let's see where this lies. Oh dear, I have to fight through all that? Oh no. Okay, I'm not fighting through all that again. No thank you. Yeah, I'm probably going to be lazy about it, even though there was a decent amount of story attached to it. Actually, real quick. Auto save? Aw. Okay, fine. I'll just use the storage spot. Alright! Now that that's over with... Let's go.